Good morning. Well, at least it's morning where I am. I decided to get out of the house and I want to go to Joanne Fabrics and then I also want to drop off a few things that I'm planning to donate. So I have two bags in my car of things that I want to give away. And when I go to Joann's, I'm actually looking for some gauze, which I use to make the hack dress and the hack top. And I love the fabric, so I want to go back and see if they have a little bit more. Um, well, kind of a lot more, because the I want to make a dress, and the dress that I have in mind takes about a little over three yards of fabric. So I'm going to see if they have it, and if they have it at a reasonable price. So I will take you all with me, and I will show you what I find, and then I'll even, you know, take the camera around the store and just show you some of the fabrics that they have in stock. Okay, so I have made it to Joanne Fabrics. I am here early. Let me see. I think it's like 9.45, and the store opens at 10, and there is is a line so I'm going to just go ahead and get in the line It's really nice out here it's very very hot so that's a good thing and I want to share with you the fabric that I hope I find more of get it out of the Sun yeah it's this gauze fabric that has like this little texture to it a little bit it's kind of looks like it's double double gauze maybe but anyway, maybe not. But anyway, this is the fabric that I hope to find more of. And hopefully they will have more colors than they had the last time that I was at the other Joann store. So we shall see. And I will keep you posted on what I get, if anything. Okay, so I'm in the store. And I only waited for about 15 minutes when the store opened at 10. They let so many people in. And I was in that group that got in so yay all right let's see what they have i always go to the back of the store first do you all do that i like to start out in a clearance section so let's see what they have back there Okay, now I'm gonna go look at the other fabrics. Okay, now we're in the section that I came in here for. It's over here on this side, but I'm gonna see if there's anything over here I'm interested in first. Oh, there's some gingham. I love gingham. Oh, this is pretty. 
I like that. Okay, so they have red. And they have some other colors of cotton gauze down here. And there's an orange. Oh, that yellow is pretty. Look at this one. I think it's a pinky kind of color. They don't even have the purple that I was using. Huh. Oh, here it is. Okay, there's the green. Oh, look at this green. That's pretty and springy. And then purple. Let me see how much it is. $13.99. And I have a coupon for 40% off. I'm thinking that I might get this color. I like that kind of green looking color. I think I might go ahead and get that. And then I need, I think I need a few buttons. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna get you guys because I like this green. Okay, so I'm back in the car and I just want to do a little mini haul because I only got like I think four things and they're pretty much basic so you saw the fabric that I got and I just purchased these buttons to go with the fabric they have the little can you see they have the little green color pearl looking color in there that matches the fabric so I thought that would be cute I'm thinking about making a dress and it has buttons in the front and then I just purchased some thread to match the fabric. And then since I've been sewing a lot of Kelly Green, I just purchased some more Kelly Green fabric. I mean fabric, thread, because I um, was running out. I think I actually did run out, I ran out. So yes, I needed this, this was on my list. So that's it. Now I have a project that I can go home and work on and hopefully it will turn out okay. And I actually purchased two other pieces of fabric but I purchased them online and I'm waiting for them to come and it's taking a little longer than I thought it would. So I just came over here to grab this in the meanwhile so I can be working on something while I wait for that to come. Good morning. It's another beautiful day. It's actually not really hot out here today but it's still very comfortable. So I am actually in a park. I'm doing a little walking and I'm just going to find a table to sit down and share with you one of my recent sewing makes. This sewing make that I'm going to share is actually a sewing make that I made in January of this year. But this was my first time putting it on and wearing it out and about. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more, a little bit more about this garment. <sighs> yesterday my husband and I went walking and I don't know what we're going to do today maybe nothing which is nice sometimes to just relax kick back and just you know enjoy enjoy the day doing whatever maybe also I'm not sure I did pick up a few new patterns recently so I may just sit down and cut Sometimes I'll cut out my pattern and then just sew it the next day because if the pattern is very involved, you know, cutting it out can be a process. I think I'm going to stop right here. I'm out of breath, but at least I'm getting some exercise. Okay, so I wrote down all the details so that I wouldn't forget anything. So it's a jumpsuit. I love jumpsuits. It is McCall 7394 and I made view B. And I made it out of this rayon tinsel kind of type fabric that I found from Joanne Fabrics. 
and some of the features. So there are darts in the front and the back bodice. The pants also have pleats in the front. Then there are pockets on this jumpsuit. There are darts in the back of the pants. And then there is an invisible zipper that goes in the back of the jumpsuit, which helps you get in and out because it goes from like the mid back all the way up to the top. So that's how you get in and out. Now the pattern comes with armhole and neck hole binding pieces. So you cut out the binding pieces from, you know, fabric. I actually cut out my neck binding pieces out of scrap fabric just because I didn't have enough of the rayon tint, so I came a little short. I didn't have enough. So yeah, I just picked up some scraps and I was able to put that in there, but you can't see it from the outside. So it worked out just fine. Yeah, so as far as wearing the garment, the back of the view that I made has a racer back. So that's just something to keep in mind because you may need to change your undergarment so that your bra would not show or your straps won't show. The only change that I made as far as constructing the garment is that I folded the crotch up one inch because I didn't want it to be hanging low. And that is it. So I will go ahead and show you what this garment looks like on. So I love my jumpsuit and I am really looking forward to wearing it a lot this summer. Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. Something I learned recently is that lobsters have two stomachs, wow, and one of them is in their head. Who knew? So that is it. Thank you for watching and I will be back in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.